Happy 4th of July, Castorians! Today we'll be using the new Aeroblaze indoor grill and we'll be grilling up some burgers. Subscribe to become a part of the Castori community and hit the bell icon so you never miss another episode. For those of you looking for metric measurements, please check the description below for a link to the recipe page. Perfect, we have everything measured out, super simple today. In a bowl, you're gonna wanna add in your one and a half pounds of ground beef. Then you're gonna take two teaspoons of kosher salt, sprinkle it all over. We're gonna be mixing everything in so it doesn't matter what order you're going. Then we're gonna add in one teaspoon of ground black pepper, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and half a teaspoon of onion powder. We're gonna be going pretty quickly today, right into the air grill and like touching the buttons. I don't wanna get it dirty. So we're just gonna start mixing now. Now that everything is mixed, we're just going to separate it into four equal size chunks. And then we'll get down and dirty with no gloves and roll them out to be the perfect hamburger patty shape. So how I like to do this is just make a giant ball. And then you just put that in half, split it in half again and then in half again. And if it's like too big on one side, then get that going there. Perfect. So now you have four patty um, chunks ready to go. So I'm gonna wanna roll it out. So that way you make sure everything is equal size. This way you can see whether or not your meatballs right now are the same size. You could definitely weigh it out too. But sometimes eyeballing is just easier, so we're just gonna go with it. Now they're all pretty much even now. This is the fun part. Just wanna squish it down. You're trying to get it to be about a third of an inch thick, but we're also gonna try to get it very, very flat. And to help make the flattening process easier, you just wanna grab an extra plate. Start off with one patty, get that going to the side. You're just gonna wanna push down as flat as you can get it first, but still remember, you want a third of an inch thick for the patty. And then you're just gonna smush it back together, flip it, and then flatten it again. And there you go. It's not a perfect circle, but this way, if you make it bigger than it needs to be, so it fits the size of your buns, um, meat does shrink about 20% after it's cooked. So you do want to make sure that it's a little bit bigger. So when after it's cooking, it's still pretty much the same size as your buttons. So we're just going to continue to make these patties and then get going. Now that all the patties are formed, we're going to preheat the air grill. To preheat the air grill, you're going to turn the machine on, then hit the high setting for the air grill function and adjust your time down to six minutes. Press the shake button and press play gonna automatically preheat for you and then we're gonna go ahead and grill these burgers. Now that the air grill is preheated, it's going to show add food. You're gonna to wanna to carefully open the lid. It's very hot. We're just going to spray it with some cooking spray and then add our form patties into the grill. You're going to want to Press down onto the patty so that when you are done cooking, it looks like as if you use an outdoor grill. Ooh, everything smells so good right now. And once again, to get those last two, take your spatula and push down so that they get those nice sear marks. And lastly, you just want to close the lid and everything will go at its own pace. The shake reminder has just went off, so what you're gonna wanna do now is open the lid. Ooh, it smells great. And you're just gonna wanna flip the burgers. Wow, look at that nice grill mark. And what's great about the Aeroblaze is that there's a built-in air filter, so there won't be a ton of smoke in your house. And only the kitchen should smell amazing. Perfect. 
I'm gonna close that lid back down and it's gonna continue to cook. So the burgers have just finished cooking. We're gonna carefully open that lid again. And what you're gonna wanna do now to melt the cheese for your cheeseburgers is just place one slice of cheese on top. And we're gonna leave two just in case somebody doesn't want cheese. And just gonna close the lid, leave it in the machine for about two minutes. We've just removed the burger patties from the air grill. You're gonna keep the lid closed to help trap in some of the heat because we will be broiling the buns to get them nice and toasted. To get that nice and toasted effect and that grilled look on your buns, you're just gonna take some mayonnaise and spread it on both the top and the bottom of the inside sliced brioche buns. Yum. It's gonna help achieve that perfect golden color and also get those seared marks onto the bread as well. Since these buns are kind of big, we're only gonna be able to do two full buns at once in the air grill. But of course, you don't have to use brioche buns, you could use any size buns or types of buns you'd like. For our purposes today, we're going to be using the broil setting on the air grill and you'll want to adjust the temperature to 415 degrees and we're gonna be broiling for no more than three minutes. The last two buns have now been finally broiled. Carefully open that lid one last time and we're going to remove them and place them onto the plate. Yum, nice and toasty. Perfect. Now all that's left is for us to build these burgers and set the table and jump right into tasting. Once again, it's my favorite part of the day, tasting. I can't wait to get into this enormous burger. Here we go. Mmm, so good. The burger is juicy and it's succulent, it's not dry. I can't believe this cooked in six minutes, so fast. You get four of these monster burgers out on the table. And it's just so nice to eat it with a nice like milky brioche bun and then you put in all this fresh freshness like lettuce tomato onion i even um, made some grilled onions with the air grill and some great accompaniments for this fourth of july indoor grill party would definitely be potato salad french fries which you can also make in the grill and lemonade all right, that's it for us today. Before we leave, please let me know in the comments below what your favorite thing to grill is. Okay, we'll see you next time. Bye.